For a while now, I've been grappling with this voice, sometimes muttering, often yelling, squeezing itself like a boil, spewing hatred and vitriol into the otherwise pure waters of my psyche. I listened quietly, went within and looked out from inside the belly of the beast. I saw what she had to show me. The story of a little girl convinced she wasn't lovely. The soul of an artist trapped in the body of a child and a family too busy trying to make ends meet to notice the renaissance of curiosity that was happening right under their feet. Why the fuck isn't anyone happy? Her anger likely to escalate over seemingly unrelated gestures, tones of voice, and certain inconsequential things. Everything that came out of me covertly declared unnecessary. Joy, bubbling, bursting quickly, precisely doused in the corrosive acid of Jesus. Not another poetry recital, please. <laughs> <laughs> this voice held hostage by the memory of repeated incidents of disrespect, harrowing neglect and high ambiguity. Now, shockingly adverse to any kind of real displays of vulnerability. Seeking, chasing approval, validation, knowing I can never get enough of what I don't actually need. <laughs> Outpourings of self-loathing going off like a switch I've rigged to trip every time I get close to living from the core of me. While I'm resisting any semblance of my own inner authority, trapped in the cycle of toxic fucking financial codependency, trying to hold enough self-belief to actually stand firmly on my own two feet. Instead, I've been lording my own love over me, sneering at myself every time something doesn't work out the way I, sh I thought it should. See? And it takes almost all the awareness that I've got not to comply with my own ploy to drown myself in the sea of overthinking, convinced that somehow this is helping me. Allowing myself to be motivated from this place of like deep-seated lack and inadequacy, overcompensating constantly and covering up despair with grandiosity. I will have to let go of all of this eventually. <laughs> then I decided it was time to send the worthlessness screaming. Cleave this god awful complex from my psyche and let the fires of hell have their way with it. Break it down till it comes back as something life. No more chemtrails of comparison. Fuck you! Poisoning the air I breathe. No volume of voices can stop a woman who has decided to own her own authority. Declare that unleashing creativity is a valuable thing to do. An artist is a worthwhile thing to be.